People are looking at modern now, and it, it's, it's healthy. I think it's really it's, it's healthy. And now I'm complaining that we're not getting stock, but I'm I'm happy people are opening packs. I'm happy people are paying attention to the new stuff because a lot of it as well does look better than the old stuff. And I know you know I wouldn't believe that back in the day because other YouTubers yeah. were telling tell me that, but it does, man. Like some of these full arts and these secret rays and gold cards, it looks so much better than the stupid like you know cards from what's the in in some cases, you know. Yeah, the technical aspect of like the artistry has improved just because we've got better manufacturing processes and stuff. People can't deny yeah. that. People can't deny that there's things that are physically possible now that just were impossible before and that allows a lot more creative freedom like if you've got photoshop or if you've got paint which one's going to give you the better result usually it's it's photoshop oh, that's what they've yeah. got now and yes it's all about the rarity dumb, dumb. it's about the the nostalgia as well when we're looking at these old cars thinking like wow they did mm. this in 1999 yes it's still it's still I'm not, I'm not trying to diss what's it at all i'm trying to say look look at what else we've got and i think let's just put the prices on here of the screen if this is going to work like this is vivid okay. voltage, right? It's the last set, and you've got the Celavi amazing rare in a ten, selling for two hundred and seventeen dollars. You know, Charizard rare card, by the way, not even a hollow, two hundred twenty-five dollars. Um, Raikou, three hundred dollars. What? Yeah, the, 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 yeah. These the amazing prices, amazing card, yeah. These, yeah. these are cool. PSA nine slash ten prices of Jim Hero's first edition back in the day, in three years ago, yeah. three four years ago. They yeah. just yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> like, they just are. Um, Ray and that shows you how much rare. healthier the market Pikachu is, Pikachu right? V Full Art was $600. Oh yep, yep. my god, $1,600 rainbow rare, $1, for the Rainbow for Boy. Ten. Yeah, it's crazy. And like, obviously this is, this is brand new, right? These are the first cards that are starting to come back from PSA. However, the point still yeah. stands that this is modern and people would laugh at you for grading modern back in the day. And then look now, you know, it's, it's the, the, the hype's growing. People are more interested in it. Um, you know, Champions Path. Actually- Dorm. You know, a bit, a bit so, of a bit of a so Champions Path, very popular set. Very, you know, we we're talking about printing. This is probably the, one of the most printed, but even then it was still under under distributed, but um, not the best set. But then you look at what's this next one? I got Darkness of Blades as well. Charizard V, non V Max, Charizard uh, Full Art V Max. All these sales here. You've got the um, but the the big thing is like even like crazy. let's say the Hound V, yeah. In the UK, you can still sell that for fifty quid now. Back yep. then, so if you had Evolutions and you got like a, a Mega Venusaur EX, you were looking at like 20, 25 quid PSA 10 if you were mm-hmm. lucky. So like there's, that's there's for been a big like, three starter as well. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a massive jump in just interest. Uh, and and I, I agree. I think it's healthy. It does provide opportunity as well mm. yep. at all scales because it now means you have to balance the prices between Watsy, EX era, Diamond and Pearl, Hot Gold, Soul, Silver, and the modern stuff. And if exactly. you can find somewhere where Actually, I don't. I think this set, this card, this era is maybe a bit underpriced. Maybe I'm going to go after them instead. No one's looking at them. Yep. So yep, literally, yeah. That, use that information. I mean, I don't think any, none of us three sat here today would ever have understood what happened or would understand what was going to happen to evolutions, <laughs> right? Like, no. But I mean, look at these, even that. Secret Ray, Zamazenta, 300, 160 Zation. These are obviously not too accurate because it's just, you know, anomalies happen on eBay and especially on Pokemon Price. But even still, Amani, full art card, $220. Lapras Secret Ray, 145 These are just modern cards fresh out the gate. Even these, like, $50, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's still, like... It's... For a more Pico. <laughs> yeah, brand new, you can know, I 2020. Ask, can I ask? What do you think? Do you think these are speculators... Uh, sending the cards to PSA, getting back as quickly as possible and selling it, and then that's another speculator buying it to then keep it, or do you think this is a, these are, these are collectors as well, who just want to get the first lot of PSA 10s back, and to have them as, or their Pokemon, what, where who's buying these cards at, because they're at premiums immediately. Yeah, what I want to know is, who has graded a Cloyster Reverse Foil from the brand new set on what I can only presume is like Super Express, because they've got that back already? <laughs> Yeah, we, well, to be fair, this is Darkness of Blaze. It. Yeah, it has to be some sort of express. Yeah, but like, yeah, it's, yeah. people send their favorite cards, but I think it's a bit of both. What what you just asked there, Connor? Like, I, I, and this is why it's da- this is why it's so dangerous when the investment stuff is being spoken about. You know, because people get hurt, man. Like people people have got hurt in this last year, right? Buying these Charizards, these what's this stuff at these premiums, and now seeing PWCC each month just drop and drop and drop because you're getting people like Collectibles Guru hyping these things up for. For his own pocket to sell his cars that he owns and then and then when when they drop you know when the hype's gone once he's finished with that card you know it's, it's gonna slowly naturally you know drop a little bit and that person's thinking oh man like i've just spent like 10 grand on this card and it's now worth like five that's that's a big you know that's a big problem and if that person was buying it 
because he wants it, that's fine. If this guy's buying it because he doesn't care where it goes in the future, that's fine. But some people would have bought that thinking this might go for 20k next next month the, and it the didn't two do. two weeks, the two, three weeks after that Logan Paul video dropped, I didn't buy a thing, man. Yeah. I was just yeah, like, no point. I, I got the Blastoise CX, didn't I, before the Logan Paul video dropped because I was yep. like, whatever happens, I know it's going to bang. Yeah. Um, so the, the you have to be really careful about when you buy it. Like if at that hypest moment, you can't just expect it to keep going up. And like, Unless the expectation when Logan Paul was going to do a box break every week. Like, yeah. you just have to, you have to kind of, it's a lot of money as well, but especially Base Unlimited. If you bought Base Unlimited PSA 9s yep. and 10s, you've, you have been hurt financially. Yeah. Probably. Massively. Yeah. I, it's and a shame as well. Yeah. And it's like, a, it's, it's a bit of a catch 22 as well, because sometimes you know, you'll have cards that you've been looking at for a while that are now available when, when that weren't available before. So there's a few cards I've bought that I've not even, I've not even looked at the price and there may be a chance that the price has gone down a little bit, but that's not the reason I bought it. The reason I bought it is just because it's there now, it's available and I picked it up. But, you know, I went in with the purchase knowing that, you know, whatever happens, happens. I've got, I've got the card, but there are people out there who will buy it to make money or buy it as an investment and now have got hurt. And, you know, We've had stories or got stories where we've undersold our cards in the past. You know, the Charles that I've, I, I sold famously on, on my, my story that I would love back, you know, that, that's a regret. However, I would much rather have sold a card for less than it's worth than buy a card for more than it's worth because it just feels worse because you buy a card and it's now gone down. You're like, I feel like an idiot now. Whereas before it's like, oh, well, at least I, at least I you know, I've lost potential money, but I haven't lost money. So yeah, you, know, you, have to be, you have to be careful. And even with these modern cards, you have to be careful. But I think the difference now is that, you know, a lot of people looking at these cards, they look great, you know. Uh, Snorlax, Snorlax VMAX Secret Rare, you know, I'll spend $200 on that because I just want the artwork. I think that's different. The population is different now. Back in the day, you know, if, if a card's a population of 200 or 100 or 50, yeah, that's more of an investment purchase, right? Because you're, you're thinking, I want to protect myself, you know, in terms of no one else can have this card. I've got this card, no one else can get it. Only 50 other people in the world have got it. Whereas now, you're looking at Charizard from, from Champion's Path, right? There's 2,000 of them in the 10 now say or, just, or has been graded you're looking at the price you know whatever it may be no there's over 2000 of them in the yeah. 10 the charizard v hyper rare from champions path has over 2000 pop 10 i think it's about 2700 or something one, right? like that yeah yeah like the, the pop that is obscene, 2300 it? yeah oh, um, that is obscene yeah. But what I will say is, this is a, it's a different style of, of purchase now. So what I'm trying to, my point that I was making is that people look at this card now and they think, I'm not buying it because I'm going to be the only one of 50 people in the world to buy it. I'm buying it because I want the card. Like, I love the yeah. artwork. I want the card. I want that on my wall. I want that, as, you know, to flex on Instagram. Whatever the reason it may be, they want that. And it's kind of like the price will reflect that, yes, but they're not, not everyone's buying it because they want to flip it. Not everyone's buying it because they want to invest in it. Some people are buying it and and because they want the card right and they just want the artwork the market's still oh, bigger wow that was from saturday bigger, as well so that's four days old so i think it is actually like 2700 now oh wow so the ma- wow. but the thing is the market's bigger 2000 even if that hits 5000 pop let's say mm. you yeah. know two three months like realistically that's still only 5000 cards we all know that there's a lot more than 5,000 collectors out there who'd like that in a PSA 10. So you're, you're yep. basically trading the value of what it's going to be in the future because Champions Path isn't yeah. going to come out again. They're not no. going to reprint it because it was a crap set, unlike <laughs> Hidden Fates. So, you know, there it's, people still might see opportunity there. Does it yeah. limit the value in comparison to sports cards? Because sure, they might stop printing the set. But I mean, we know for a fact, just from looking at that, there's over 4,000 copies. Yep. of this card whereas like in sports card your your chase cards they're numbered they're like one of 199 or one of yeah. 50 or one of 10 one of one it do you think obviously pokemon can't do that because of playability you can't have a card that is yeah is one of they one, could or have one a of collector them. series there's no reason why yeah they couldn't do that uh some of that wasn't playable mm. um but like does it limit the scope of where the price can go with this new stuff considering people are literally pulling it grading it that's it like whereas Watsy, that there's no more of that left. Whereas modern, there is yeah. always going to be some more of the next thing. There's definitely oh, the thing is with Watsy, yeah, there is. There's more than there's people definitely, think. Definitely, there's more than people think, but there's definitely also an opportunity with cards. I think from Fossil Jungle Team Rocket Gyms, which maybe aren't the cool cards. Go and have a look at Gym Heroes PSA 10 First Editions. All the value in those hollow sets. I have four or five cards. The yeah. rest of those cards are like less oh, than a thousand dollars. Still, like I'm surprised, man. Like I, I mean, 
so I, I saw Josh, and I hope he doesn't mind me say, right? Josh from the side Ren purchased a PSA 9 first edition Azumarill from Neo Genesis for £90. It's not a lot, is it? Like, During the really, For what you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's mental. It ain't a lot. You know? So, and um, that, that Charizard that's just come out, I know it's yeah. not an Azumarill, but that's going for like $700 or whatever. So, yeah. there's. If you know where to look, uh, Haunters from Fossil, cheap as hell. Like, there's, there's just, if you know what you're doing, and I'm not saying, like, you should just, you know, buy them all up and hoard them and then sell them on. But if you want to go for those collection pieces and own a bit of Watsy, you still can. Don't yeah. feel like it's impossible and it's out of reach. 